Today is Friday the 4th of March, and all this week on Battle Drill Daily Devotionals, we've been considering the environment we need, and most especially the attitudes we must adopt, to hear what God is saying to us. We turn for the last time to our passage for this week. It's Luke chapter 8, verses 4 to 15. And today I'm reading from The Voice. While a huge crowd gathered with people from many surrounding towns streaming to hear Jesus, he told them a parable. Parables are works of art, specifically works of short fiction. They are intricately constructed and complex in their intent. In some ways, they are intended to hide the truth. They don't reduce truth to simple statements or formulae. Instead, they force the reader to take things to a deeper level, to engage the imagination, to think and think again. In this way, they invite people to ask questions. They stir curiosity. They create intrigue. Jesus told them, Once a farmer went out to scatter seed in his fields. Some seeds fell along a trail, where they were crushed underfoot by people walking by. Birds flew in and ate those seeds. Other seeds fell on gravel. Those seeds sprouted but soon withered, depleted of moisture under the scorching sun. Still other seeds landed among thorns, where they grew for a while, but eventually the thorns stunted them, so they couldn't thrive or bear fruit. But some seeds fell into good soil, soft, moist, free from thorns. These seeds not only grew, but they also produced more seeds, a hundred times what the farmer originally planted. If you have ears, hear my meaning. His disciples heard the words, but the deeper meaning eluded them. What were you trying to say? They asked him. Jesus replied, The kingdom of God contains many secrets. They keep listening, but do not comprehend. Keep observing, but do not understand. I want you to understand. So here's the interpretation. The voice of God falls on human hearts, like seeds scattered across a field. Some people hear that message, but the devil opposes the liberation that would come to them by believing. So he swoops in and steals the message from their hard hearts, like birds stealing the seeds from the footpath. Others receive the message enthusiastically, but their vitality is short-lived because the message cannot be deeply rooted in their shallow hearts. In the heat of temptation, their faith withers, like the seeds that sprouted in gravelly soil. A third group hears the message, but as time passes, the daily anxieties, the pursuit of wealth, and life's addicting delights outpace the growth of the message in their hearts. Even if the message blossoms and the fruit begins to form, the fruit never fully matures, because the thorns choke out the plant's vitality. But some people hear the message and let it take root deeply in receptive hearts, made fertile by honesty and goodness. With patient dependability, they bear good fruit. Amen. When God speaks to you, what's your response? Hmm, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Let me think about it. Or... Let me compare your request with my other options and get back to you. Or are you willing in advance to simply say yes to whatever God asks of you? Jesus describes seeds that fell on fertile soil, which grew and produced a huge crop. They represent honest, good-hearted people who hear what God has to say to them, and are already willing to say yes. They hear God's voice. They cling to it for dear life. They keep doing what God says until they produce a great harvest. As we end this week together, ask yourself if you're willing to find a quiet place to hear from God. 
Ask yourself if you are willing to hear what he says and to act on it. Ask whether hearing from God is the top priority in your life or if other things are crowding it out. Ask yourself if you are too preoccupied to hear God's voice. If any of this is true, then join with me in praying for an open mind, for time to listen to God, and the courage to say yes to God, whatever he asks of us. As you think about that at the end of this week, ask yourself these two questions. Are you tired of not hearing from God? If so, what's one thing that you can change today that will open you up to the possibility of hearing from him? And I hope to see you again soon for some more Battle Drill. God bless you.